Welcome to Linux Essentials, covering your first 100 commands, and today we'll demonstrate the nano command. I'm Paul, and here's the plan. First, the command and why you need it. Second, we'll play around in our terminal window. And third, we'll return for a quick tip, and then we're done. Okay, we know Linux is the backbone of the internet and is used by webmasters and leaders. At Factorpad, we use Linux for fun stuff, like factor research. So Linux is great, but it requires that you memorize commands, just like words in a language. And our 20th word or command to memorize is nano from our category text. Nano allows you to edit text files. Recall from the last video we saw how Echo displays text? But to edit text, we need a distinct program, similar to a word processor. And for that, we'll use nano. Before we start, it helps to think of commands as mini programs, and most follow this structure, command, options, and arguments. The nano command has over 30 options, and the argument is the text file you'd like to edit. Like most commands, help is available, and nanos is quite concise. Options like dash v here set the options going into the program and instead of expanding on them during this short time, it's best to spend the time within nano. So why is nano an important command? Well, nano is widely available and is the easiest way to edit text. And now you know how to do that. Oh, a quick word on navigation. This button goes to the playlist, back one video, forward one video, and click here for updates. Okay, the best way to embed this in your memory is by typing in your own terminal window. Find this on your Mac using a program called Terminal. On Linux, use Terminal or Console. And currently, Microsoft is adding this functionality to Windows. Here we go. Let's type nano and a text file that I copied from video 5. There we opened it in less, which is just a file viewer not an editor like nano. See how we're sitting within a separate program, not at the command prompt? And nano has its own functionality. See the control keystroke combinations here, like control X to exit? Next, let's move this comment up here where it belongs. Arrow down, control K to cut. Arrow up, enter a line, and then uncut or paste using Control U. Then edit the tag so it is at an, basically an, a more accurate comment. And uh, now let's Control X to leave, and it verifies that you want to save and overwrite. Please note either upper or lowercase works here to leave. Okay, very good. And as always, exit closes the terminal window. Okay, now you know how to use nano, and you know the syntax for commands, options, and arguments. One last tip about the nano command. Run a what is command on nano. And in our next video, we'll clear up the confusion about Pico that you see there. Okay, thanks for visiting today. I hope this was a fun introduction to the nano command.